And in Fort Mill, you can feel the excitement in the air there as well as the kids get ready for their first day. And it's not just the thousands of new students. The district also welcoming dozens of new teachers this year as well. And here's a pretty big statistic. Fort Mill is now officially the fastest growing school district in the state of South Carolina. NBC Charlotte's Ruby Durham joins us live this morning in Fort Mill. And Ruby, a lot of new changes for this new school year. Rachel, that's right. You know, Fort Mill is now one of the fastest growing towns in the United States. We've seen population grow here 50% since 2010. That population growth means more kids on the buses you see behind me. So to accommodate it all, the district hired nearly 300 new teachers. We're growing at about a 6% rate. Uh, which roughly equates to about a thousand students per year. And when you look at the overall population of Fort Mill, up more than 2,400 people in just one year, it's no wonder schools are changing focus to keep up. It's not a problem having the growth as long as you keep it focused on people and relationships. But the stunning growth has its drawbacks. Two schools in Fort Mill, Dobie's Bridge and Gold Hill Elementary, are now at full capacity. Joe Burke, a spokesperson for the school district, says some students zoned for Gold Hill will have to be bused to Tiga K. We do that so that we don't have to rezone every year to balance out the new communities that are coming in because that's tougher on the students. So what's the effect on classes? Last year I started off with 18 students and I ended up with 22. York County Council increasing the impact fee this year in Fort Mill from $2,500 to $18,000 to add new schools to accommodate the booming influx of families. It's super important for these impact fees to be in place in order to fund the education that everyone is moving to Fort Mill to receive. But opposers say the fee is unfair. I just would like to see them think more outside the box instead of taking what I figure consider is the easy way out. Ben and Rachel, school leaders are anticipating more growth, which is why three new schools here in Fort Mill are set to be built. But Fort Mill is not the only district that needed to add more teachers. Coming up in the next half hour, why Lancaster County needed to add more teachers and why the district says it still needs more. I'm reporting live from Fort Mill, Ruby Durham, NBC Charlotte.